Hello, our esteemed viewers, and welcome to our Top Notch Education Consultancy programs. Uh, in this program, we'll be talking about the poles of influence in Paul V. Vita's novel, Fathers of Nations. I think this is a very critical area that uh, you really need to isolate and discuss with your students. Uh, the poles of influence <coughs> has a way in which it helps in the interpretation of this book, uh, Fathers of Nations. Now, the first pole of influence that in the text is uh, the, uh, the influence in terms of your population. And in this novel we are told that if you talk about Africa, Nigeria has the highest number of populations. And that means that Nigeria is a pole of influence. And that explains why when the host president of Gambia uh, greets the president, he actually has to greet the president of Nigeria first. But I also want you to connect uh, one thing here, that it is from these poles of influence that the writer or the author has been able to derive his characters. For instance, in Nigeria, he's been able to derive uh, the character of Chineke Chiamaka of the CIA church. So you realize that uh, there is a way in which uh, he presents his text. When he talks about these poles of influence, you realize that Many characters actually derived from these poles of influence for easier interpretation. Now, the second pole of influence, as he talks about it, is the influence according to uh, technology. And no one in Africa or no country in Africa defeats South Africa when it comes to technology. And that is why we have to interpret this. And I know you'll be asking me, now that I said uh, the first pole of influence, uh, a character has been derived. What about South Africa? Remember the core of this uh, novel, and that is third long way, comes from South Africa. Of course, we also understand that there is another character. It's a very silent character in this book called Mark Thatcher that uh, actually influences some of the activities that happen in Africa, also comes uh, from uh, South Africa. But I want us to connect the second pole of influence, and that is South Africa, that leads Africa when it comes to technology. Uh, you connect it with the character of Tad Longway. Now, the third pole of influence is uh, uh, that influence that comes because you have a neighbor that is powerful. And that is where Kenya comes in because of the friends that Kenya actually holds so dear. And remember, Kenya is the best uh, when it comes to American, uh, African uh, countries. So Kenya becomes a pole of influence because uh, Kenya is a friend to America. So no one threatens Kenya because if you threaten Kenya, definitely you'd have a problem with America. And that is why Kenya prides itself that uh, it's got a very powerful friend. And that is uh, uh, America. And no one now want, uh, touches Kenya. And from there, uh, the writer has been able to derive a character. And that character is Professor Karanja uh, Kimani. So you realize that as uh, the writer tries to craft uh, this book, there is a way, there is an order in which he actually brings out uh, the text. So the pole of influence in this text is there to inform you that the characters actually are derived from these poles of influence. Now the next pole of influence is sheer obstinacy, uh, the stubbornness. And no one defeats uh, Zimbabwe when it comes to that. There was a time that Zimbabwe had a very stubborn president, and you know him. I don't want to mention it here because when I mention it, someone would say that is part of my interpretation. Remember, this text just talks about the presidents, but doesn't actually uh, present the name of those presidents. So one of the poles of influence is that pole of influence that we say sheer obstinacy. And uh, that is why uh, the host president of Gambia had to greet the president of Zimbabwe. And from Zimbabwe, the writer has been able to derive the character of uh, Comrade Gumbile Melusi. You know how Gumbile Melusi is also very stubborn. Uh, you remember that uh, when he was doing the registration at the Seamount Hotel, and there was some hiccup uh, when uh, one of the guards wanted uh, to deny him the opportunity to get into the conference with his needle because he's diabetic. Uh, that is when you realize the stubborn nature of Gumbile Melusi. 
that stubborn nature is actually a, a Zimbabwean uh, problem. Maybe the writer is trying to put across the fact that Zimbabweans are very stubborn people. I don't know. Uh, that is my interpretation. Uh, you could have a different opinion insofar as that is concerned. So the next pole of influence is what uh, we call uh, uh, that influence where you don't follow the rules. There are certain presidents in Africa that don't follow the rules. There was a time that Libya did not follow the rules. Even when the West wanted them to follow a particular path, uh, the, the president then of, of Libya could not follow rules. Of course, he's also stubborn. But what we are looking at here as another pole of influence is this fact that their president or that country, they rarely follow the rules. And uh, the writer has been able to derive another character from Libya, and that is Engineer Seib Tahir. So I wanted you to see uh, this bit of the poles of influence vis-a-vis -vis the characters. So when the writer talks about these poles of influence, you should be able to see that when he's deriving this, his characters, actually these characters come from these poles of influence. I hope this one has enlightened you a bit in the interpretation of the text and I accept you to fairly uh, interpret the text. Thank you very much. Uh, for listening to me. I'm Oyuga Zedo Molo, your presenter. And I'll always be, and I'll always try as much as I can uh, to demystify areas that you need really uh, to understand when it comes uh, to this book. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, kindly do so because we have so much that we have in plan for you as far as this text is concerned. Remember, we, have one, we try to make it as simple as possible to our students. And when you watch our videos, kindly do the same. Uh, interpretation to our students. If you have a projector, uh, be using your projector to watch, to help our students to watch the videos that we uh, we make. And remember, on our YouTube channel, there is a portal that people rarely use. Uh, that portal is a community portal. I have done a lot of notes, classroom notes, and if you go to that portal, you definitely in interact with a lot of information. You will access a lot of information that will help you even to teach in your classroom. Thank you for now, and may God bless you abundantly. Uh, I am your presenter, as I have said, Yuga Zedomol.